All right, before I share my settings, why don't you go ahead and go in the comments and share your sensitivity and your settings. There'll be a pinned comment down there with a template if you want to add a bunch of detail. If not, that works too, but appreciate the information and I'm sure anybody that might benefit from it does too. All right, so in the last video, I talked a lot about my PC settings and my mouse, keyboard sync, things like that. But I know a lot of you guys are on controller, so I want to talk to you guys how to set your controller settings up for you can improve Warzone experience. So what you're going to do is start out by setting your dead zone. So if you don't know how to do that, you're going to hit start, go to options, go over to your controller, and we're going to throw that down to zero. Now you'll notice that, look at the wall, set my controller down, I've got a little bit of stick drift going down into the right. So as I just hit pause, bump that up a few, it's still there. It's still slightly there. And that gets me where I want to be. Now what that allows me to do is have the entire stick throw instead of being limited in the amount of stick. Because if I can only use a smaller portion of it, obviously I'm gonna be less accurate and have less control over my controller and my, my aim. So now that is set, let's take a deeper look at my settings. So I'm using the tactical layout because it allows me to crouch on the right stick as well as aim at the same time so I can get decent slides and things like that. So I have um, my sensitivity set to six and six. People that are obviously a little more adept to controller than I am will use eight more than likely. Um, I do use a slower sense here, seven, five and eight. I'm still playing with that here and there. Um, a lot of times I'll run 7.5, though, in general, you know, just three-quarter speed, basically, of what it is. I use a standard aim rate, which is just totally normal for most Call of Duty players. Though, there are likely to be a bunch of you guys that are using dynamic if you're a sniper type of player. So keep that in mind. If you're looking for more fine uh, tuning with your aim, the uh, dynamic might be a better way to go for you. Um, aim assist, I use precision, but let's take a look at the different aim assists and what they do. So we're going to start with disabled, and then we're going to go to standard. So let's start with disabled, and I'm just going to position myself in front of this guy. And drag my stick, and you'll notice that there is no slowdown whatsoever near the targets. So standard is just traditional, you know, normal, what we see in Call of Duty aim assist. So drag the stick, slows, goes a little bit, and it's faster. So then we go to precision. Precision is a strong aim slowdown that only kicks in when close to the target. This should be usually what most people are using, um, but focusing is probably my favorite. But let's look at what this one does. So as I'm swiping over, it's a little tighter to the body than standard. And we go to focusing. Focusing is a strong aim slowdown that kicks in when narrowly missing the target. So this one is probably the easiest one by far because you see how fast you can actually whip it around and it slows down. But it tight, it's a little tighter to the body before it slows down. Which can give you a big advantage if you're not like the most accurate shot. It'll help keep you in place. Uh, so if you're new to controllers, go to focusing. If you're a little better, go to precision. Um, otherwise, if you're not quite sure, flip between these two. Standard is okay, but it's worth flipping between these two depending on where you are more than likely. Or going from focusing to standard to precision as you increase your, your skill. For weapon mount activation, I use ADS and melee. For uh, the aim pickup, so tap to use is, is something that's super important, and we'll discuss that here in one second once I get something else to pick up. So what the tap to use actually means to you is you can run by things and pick them up or just use them, and you have to hold the button to reload. Which, it's way more advantageous to do that, because if you think about it, how often... Are you in a chance where you need to run by something, pick up ammo as you're running away from an enemy? Or you just want to pick up a UAV or something like that, like here, I can just tap it and be on my way. You know, and that's a massive bonus. You see, I can just keep moving instead of having to stop. And I can always move and reload. I also use depleted ammo um, weapon switch 
because I just don't want to have to think about it. I just want my weapon to switch and run into ammo. Um, armor plate behavior, I apply all. A lot of people will run single, but with the hold, I like just applying all and getting it done. Auto attack sprint is super important on the controller. It is just it makes your life a lot easier to do the um, slide cancels and things like that. And auto deploy disabled. Uh, that's just one of those personal things. You can run it on. It just won't really it won't really affect you. It's up to you. Since you can just pull it, cut it, and it's off anyway. Uh, but those are my controller settings that I use for playing Warzone. But if you like this video, give it a like. If you like me, give me a subscribe. Have a good one, guys. I'll see you around.